So let's solve the Bernoulli equation. Y prime minus Y equals X Y squared. So first things first, is this, a, is this something I know how to solve already? Like, is this separable or is this linear? No, because it's... Y is this so the Y squared means it's not... I just squared. assume it's squared. Linear. And why it's not. Why you use separation of variables? Because you use the R and R is not 0 or 1. So if you try to separate, right, you need Y prime is, so you add Y to the other side, right? Or why not just divide by Y squared? If the Y squared is on the other side, could it be um, uh, separable, right? Okay, so the form for separable is Y prime is some function h of x times some other function g of y. Like, that's what it means to be separable. If you can arrange it into that, tremendous, do that. Right? But, in this case, right, I have plus y. If I try to factor a y out, I think I'm kind of borked. Can't factor an x out either. I need it to be a product. Okay. But, like, why can't you just divide by y squared and then multiply then the dx the other side? Because it gives you a y side. on the plus, and then you can't integrate that. Because it would be y dx on the left side. Okay, so... Just not quite. Multiply through by 1 over y squared? Yeah. Okay, so you got y prime over y squared plus 1 over y is x. Yeah. And then you want to be like, okay, so I'm going to rewrite dy... Sorry, I'm going to rewrite y prime as dy over dx and multiply the dx to the other oh, side. And you get the dx on the. Yeah, you get a dx here and you're like, mm. what? <laughs> okay. Zero. No. okay. Yeah, so that's why it needs to yeah. look like this to be separable. That makes a lot of sense. Sweet. Okay, so to solve a Bernoulli equation, you solve the homogeneous one. Right. Yeah. So your y h is e to the minus integral of minus 1 dx. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. K-Y. Like K-Y? Yeah, okay. that's one. So the homogeneous version is y h prime minus y h equals 0, right? Sure. And then, in this case, p is minus 1, right? So you're like, okay, so y h is e to the minus integral minus 1 dx. Uh, that's right, you get it, the double negative. Right? And then you're like, double negative drops. So y h is e to the x. You don't need the constant here. Because your intention is to do variation of parameters, so you're going to get a constant later. You don't need it now. So this is your homogeneous solution. Right, so then you go over here and you're like, hey, we're going to guess y is some function u times e to the x. And then y prime is u prime e to the x plus, e to the, uh, plus u times e to the x. Sub these two into there, so you get u prime e to the x plus u e to the x minus u e to the x is x y squared. But this one's e, slashing. this one could have been easily like, hey, we know e to the x doesn't really change, so we can just skip a dippy or do skip a few. Yeah, totally. So you know this is going to come out as u prime times the homogeneous solution equals the right hand side. Right. So you can skip to there if you want to. I'm with Anna. I like to write these things down so that I can see that they cancel. I feel like that's where I make most of my mistakes. Oh, in canceling them? I don't or know. Just, I, I can mess, mess up somewhere in there. And yeah, that's why I just like to keep the steps in and not just memorize the forms. Right. But it helps to have both, right? If you keep the steps and memorize the forms, you like check. <laughs> then you write the form down off to the side, do the steps, and if you don't get that, right. you made a mistake. Well, yeah. <laughs> so x, y squared, y squared is, is not... So I have here u prime is x y squared over e to the x. Yeah, y is u e to the x. Y is u e to the x. Yes. <laughs> Are we not skipping that in? Where did 
my brain go? Um, I got my homogeneous solution. I got U prime. And you have to find U to put it back into your guess to find what you want. Yes. Right. Yeah. Or is it any the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> you say that. We broke up. Equals the other Y prime, and then just. We weren't even trying at this the point. Other side and, yeah. and say, why is that? Hang on. Did, did we hit you in the head, Joe? Oh, no. I just did something stupid. This was U e to the X oh. squared. Yeah. So you get. 2 squared e to the 2x. I substituted, but not all the way, because I'm an idiot. Okay, so then you slash an e to the x, and you get u prime over u squared is x e to the x. Right? And this is separable. So I have the integral of 1 over u squared du is the integral of x e to the x dx. Hey, we used to. 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 Why are you subbing? Because you is fucking. Oh, actually. It's fine. It's already <laughs> subbed, man. It's maximally u'd over there. <laughs> Natural log of the absolute value. That's, that's why you w sub if you run out of u. What? Double no, 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 no. That's this is u to the minus two. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you do one higher power over the one higher power. <laughs> so that would be a u to the minus one over minus one is, and the antiderivative of x e to the x is a quick part, right? Yeah, it's going to be x e to the x minus e to the x plus e. Is it quick part? Yes, it is. It's going to be x e to the x that all day. <laughs> minus e to the x plus <laughs> constant. Two. It's the classic. And so then you multiply yeah. through, and then you'll have to flip things over. So you'll have u to the minus 1 is minus x e to the x plus e to the x plus constant. And then 1 over both sides. You got u is 1 over x e to the x. Oops. E to the x minus x e to the x plus constant. And then is it a negative? Yeah. But e to the x minus e to the x Did you apply the negative to the whole? No, you did. just flipped the order. But you yeah. have to flip the I didn't flip the constant, because it's a constant. A lot of the negative. Never mind, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay. So you get to something that looks more or less like this, and then what do you do with it? You go with your guess. Oh, plug it in. Yeah. Go with your gut. Hey. Take that, plug it back into Ew. my guess, which Ew. is right here. Why? So in the end, I get y is e to the x over e to the x minus x e to the x plus constant. Oh. Uh, and slash some e to the x's. Uh, yeah, please don't. I mean, if we get like, if you choose to do legal algebra and slash some e to the x's, I'm okay with that. We should just yeah, like factor e to the x out of the whole bottom term and then have like c over. Well, you can yeah, so you can x. you can get away with some of this. If you do so, you'll end up with 1 over <laughs> 1 minus x plus c e to the minus x on the bottom. Oh, yeah, no, that's Wait, fine. And then can you absorb the 1 into no. c? No. Because now it's a... I just want to now it's not a constant. C. It's a I'm constant like mark. everything. And C, if you like, your answer is 1. It's I can't wait C. to be in general. Your <laughs> answer is C, which is now a function of X, because I absorbed some X's oh. in there. Bob, yeah, that's a little bit like getting to the beginning of a differential equation and being like, Y of X is the solution. <laughs> of course. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs>